Hey Finch fans, this is a quick update on the status of my preview F030 indoor aviary or flight cage. I have it set up right now for a handful of Lady Gouldian finches. You'll see that I have three females and one male in my current flock. They seem to enjoy the space very much. One of them is young. The one on the left here is my newest addition. And I had a weak moment at a pet store. She was all alone. She was the last bird in the cage and I had to take her home. So one of the main focuses today is gonna to be my natural branches that I added to the aviary. You can see this is a crab apple branch that I cut from my tree in my yard. And I did a little research on how people recommend you treat branches that are gonna be added to the aviary. The way I chose to do it was trim the branch fresh and wash it with a mild bleach and water solution. Give it a good scrub down. Took any of those funguses off. And then I put it in my oven set at 200 degrees for two hours. I went on the longer side because I didn't want to mess around with the chance that any bacteria would survive and cause a problem for my birds. It's been in there for a couple of months now. They seem really happy with it and I think it was a success. Sorry, can't get the focus there. You can see they enjoy hanging around on it. It gives them a variety of diameters and textures and I had this unique upper branch that I wired to the roof of my aviary to give it a little more stability from side to side. I added one other natural branch that you can see down here. And then the rest of my perches are pet store made of varying width, natural and synthetic branches that I added to the aviary. You know about my plants if you've watched my other videos. They are plastic plants that I purchased at a craft store. They're easy to wash. Before I put them in, I always give them a good rinse with vinegar and water. I still use these silo style waterers that I'm really happy with because they keep my water supply fresh and clean. I usually put a few of them in the cage as backups for each other. And my hopper style, style feeders are still serving my birds very well too. You can see the one on the left here has two different types of seed in it. One of them is a crumble and one of them is a traditional seed. And the one on the right has just regular seed in it. I always put two of each of these in because if I have any sort of failure or problem with one of them, I know I have a backup and the birds will be safe at least until I have a chance to catch it and fix it. So overall, I'm still loving this cage. I think aesthetically that it is pleasing. I think that it is super functional. It gives my birds lots of space to fly around. They fly from down low where the feed is and the bath is up to these high branches. They often will just do hot laps where they'll fly big loops from one side um, across and back to where they started. And my favorite feature, if you've heard my other videos, is this two inch deep litter tray, which really keeps seed hulls and feathers in the aviary where you want them to be. This zip tie here just keeps my grate from rattling, so it makes a little bit less noise. But again, I would highly recommend this aviary. I have five birds in it. It seems to be very adequate and comfortable for those five birds. And I hope that you'll consider one for your flock. Uh, that's it for today. Until next time.